A quick update. The Java 21 is here. That's why we were talking about Java 21 from last few months. But now we got the GA version, which is general availability. So basically in Java 21, we got a lot of updates. Now it's a major update. Few in terms of syntax and few in terms of how it works behind the scene. Of course, I have not explored all the features yet, but I'm excited for Java 21 because this is also a LTS version and I believe in LTS version. So we got Java 11, we got Java 14, Java 17, and now 21, which will be a LTS version. Now in this, there are certain features which are interesting and we have talked about it. And there are other interesting things which, are, which we have not talked about. So first, let's go for the string template. So yes, this is an amazing uh, feature because normally we try to concatenate the string to achieve something. Otherwise, we can use string templates, which is much safer option compared to the uh, string uh, concatenations. Uh, that's one. And we have also made a video for this. Next, we got a sequenced collection. Now, it solves some of the issues which we have in collection API and they have changed the layers as well. Uh, so now the list extends or implements some other classes, some other interfaces, and you can, we will check that in a separate video. Uh, then we, there's some updates in the GC, there's some features with record patterns, again, yet to be explored. We got pattern matching for Switch. In Switch also, there are a lot of been updates from Java 12. Uh, we got uh, Switch expressions and uh, no need for break, but now we also have something new. Apart from this, I have not explored the foreign function yet and that's into preview. In fact, the string templates are also into preview version. They're not fully there. Uh, then we got unnamed pattern variables, again preview. Virtual threads, this has been into preview from last few versions and now finally it's here. In fact, I also got to know that from Java JDK 20 to JDK 21, they have made the changes in virtual threads. Now, what it basically provides you is, of course, you don't have to change the way you write threads. The syntax will remain same, but internally things will be different. So there are certain threads which are virtual threads, and then there are platform threads. So by default, when you create, you can also use the virtual threads, which are much faster uh, in terms of performance. Next, we got the unnamed classes and instance main method. We have talked about the shorter main method where you don't have to write a class to start with. But again, this is only for people who are new to Java. Java developers will still prefer to use the older syntax. And this is also into preview. Then we got scoped values, not checked it yet. Uh, vector is still into incubator. Uh, there have been some uh, deprecated things for Windows 32 bit. Okay, this is something. Now for the security, for cryptography, we got uh, KEM, which is the key encapsulation mechanism API. Again, yet to explore, I've, I've read something about it, but I'm not fully there to make a video on it. And then we got a structured concurrency, which is into preview. Of, out of all this, I've explored the string templates, fun to work with, uh, about virtual threads, I've read it, but again, not fully prepared for the video, we'll make that soon. And then we have this, we also tried this part. With every new version, there are new features coming up, right? And Few companies are still into Java 8, Java 11. So even if you are into older version, don't worry, we are getting updates in every six months and every six months we are not getting something huge. You have to focus on few important features which you're going to use in your project. So even if there's a feature which was introduced in Java 14 and if you don't need it, you don't need to remember or you don't need to learn about it. But knowing the features will help you to decide should we use it or not. Okay, so Java 21 is here. Maybe you will, you, the video will be published on 21st of September. This is 20th September. Uh, this was available on 19th of September. So for me, I'm one day late, but that's fine. Uh, this is not something which will be uh, going away. So Java 21 is here, which is the LTH version. So what will make much more sense is to move from Java 17 to 21 directly because that's LTS version. So yeah, that's about the quick update. And let me know if you have explored any of these features, especially the virtual threads and uh, pattern matching for switch. If you have used it, let me know in the comments. And if you want the videos on that, also let me know in the comments. I am excited to make them. So see you in the next video, everyone. Bye-bye.